Hello, hello. My name is Patty, and good afternoon, good evening, good morning to you wherever you are in the world. Um, I come to you live this afternoon for me. I'm in the UK, and it's afternoon. It's just I've gone after twelve, and I'd like to talk to you today. A quick chat about self-confidence getting your self-confidence back taking back your self-confidence and so I want to talk to you and walk with you on my journey my self-confidence journey and I want to tell you my story I want to tell you what I've been through and how it's affected my confidence and what my self-confidence was like before and what is it, what it is like now and so if you're here please please invite your friends I would like to just take a second and invite my friends and invite my friends so that they could watch so if you can just invite your friends and we can watch so um, I would like to take you back to the time I was 11 years old right like I said my name is Patty Patty Pat can look me up on Facebook and on YouTube I've got a YouTube and a Facebook uh, channel and account and I'd like to talk to you about my story so when I was about 11 years old I went on a hockey trip I was playing hockey as a sport in school and so when I was 11 years old I was doing pretty well and I started to play for my school and I progressed and did it a little bit better and I, I went on to play for my um, region and so we had the regional matches going on and when the regional matches were going on um, you know we had to take a trip you know quite a distance away and I remember being on that bus we jumped onto a bus with fellow um, you know hockey players and the teachers and so when we were getting off the bus after arriving we did park um, somewhere a little far from where we were going to play and when I when we parked there everybody started coming out of the bus and so I was sitting you know near the back and so I jumped out of the bus on my way you know to come out of the bus there were a group of boys behind me in the bus the teachers were out of the bus everybody was kind of out and hurrying along and so long story short I got molested by the boys in the bus so that really affected my self-confidence that really knocked my self-confidence because you know I felt violated I felt dirty I felt angry I felt ashamed I felt confused I felt all the emotions one could ever feel if you know you are molested if you are violated and so on that bus you know this group of boys you know after they molested and violated me we got off the bus we jumped off the bus and um, I just didn't know what to do. I was confused. I was afraid. I was I didn't know who to tell. I didn't know what to do and so I kept quiet. I kept it within me. I kept silent for months, for years, for quite a while. And so little did I know that it started affecting my self confidence, it started affecting the way I look at myself. I didn't feel pretty. I didn't feel um like I look good. I didn't feel like I am um, worth anything I didn't feel like I was attractive I didn't feel like I was beautiful I didn't feel worthy I felt dirty I felt angry I felt you know like nothing and it was my little secret no one knew no one knew and so it ate at my self-confidence it ate at my self-belief it ate at my assertiveness it made me angry it grew anger it grew rage in me and it grew a dislike um, and distaste for men because that's what I believe that boys and men are like that they just make you feel dirty they make you feel ashamed they make you feel angry and so I grew up with that and nobody knew and little did I know that that was gonna affect my self-confidence and so it affected my self-confidence because I then became broken I became 
damaged on the inside. And so to keep myself going and to keep myself strong, I became a little bit aggressive. I became um, more assertive, but it was based on fight. It was based on anger. It was based on rage because of what had happened to me. So if you're here and you're watching and you've been molested, you've been abused, you've been raped, you've been anything's been done to you, that's not right. I'm so sorry for your experience. I've been there and I'd like to say to you it helps it helps to stop and go back to that moment go back to that place in your heart and in your mind and tell yourself I am beautiful I'm not dirty I'm not confused I know who I am stare that image stare that memory in the face and say you know what I'm taking back my self-confidence I'm taking back my beauty I'm taking back my sense of self-worth I'm taking back my sense of self-value I value myself I'm someone and I'm not gonna allow you the dirty ugly experience to define my self-confidence the second step I'd like to tell you is look for someone to talk to look for someone to talk to a counselor, a psychologist, get professional help. The third step I'd like to tell you is that look for materials, workshops, trainings on YouTube, trainings on the internet that you could listen to that would build up your self-confidence again. And that's what I'm up to, that's what I'm doing, that's what I'm listening to and just, you know, building my self-confidence up every single day. If you need to do your makeup, if you need to get your hair done and changed, do whatever you need to do to get your self-confidence back. So I want to say to you today, you are beautiful, you are valuable, you are brainy, you are wise. Nothing can stop you and you've got it. So go out there and be the best you you can be. Love you. Love you. Thank you for watching. Bye.